Hi everyone, I'm Cynthia Barretta from Beretta Farms. Today we're going to do a little bit of roasting and steaking. And the cut that we're going to use is a antibiotic and hormone free beef tenderloin. Sometimes you can get a little bit intimidated by this cut, but truly it is one of the easiest uh, cuts of meat to prepare. You just need a little bit of know-how. When you buy one of our full uh, whole antibiotic hormone free beef tenderloins, it comes like this. So it's a quite a large piece of meat and sometimes can be very intimidating to look at, but truly once I show you what to do, you're going to be amazed at how easy it is to actually roast this and to steak it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use half of the roast uh, to steak and then the other half we're actually going to show you how to do a very simple quick roast recipe and just to throw it in the oven and then you know about an hour later you're going to have a beautiful piece of uh, roast to cut and slice for the family either with potatoes or with rice or corn on the cob it's summer who knows what you want to do. My suggestion is the tenderloin comes um, in a large piece like this and you're going to start uh, with the more rounder side as your steaks and you're going to leave the one it's kind of got it's kind of it's, it's actually called the tail you're going to leave that and that's what's going to be a roast so you'll see it because you can actually see this is a much rounder circumference here and this one is much thinner and that's what you're going to fold over and that's that tail is going to become your roast later on so we are going to cut steaks out of this nice round part it's, there's, it's a very lean piece of meat, so you want to be um, cautious when you actually are grilling it because, as you know, tenderloin will cook up really quickly and it has uh, very little fat. So you just want to make sure not to overdo a beef tenderloin ever. It's better to eat it under underdone than to overcook it. Uh, my family prefers a, a thicker steak, so we usually, I usually cut them about an inch to an inch and a quarter thick. So you'll see, just take a Oh, and I should even start with that. Make sure you have a really good knife. So a sharp knife is almost key in any recipe that you're going to do, but especially when you're cutting a whole cut, cut of meat. So we're going to cut each steak about an inch and a quarter thick. So you're just going to cut down like that. And as you see, you have this beautiful round tenderloin steak. So put those there. And I, when I do them on the grill, I do them just with salt and pepper, maybe a little bit of olive oil if you want to start with, but truly it's a very, very simple, simple, the simpler the better with a tenderloin. Okay, and so now you can cut as many steaks as you want out of this. You could actually do the whole thing as a steak if you want, but I, the family likes a roast even in the summer. You can grill this on the, on the barbecue if you want. T today I'm just going to show you a quick recipe on how to do it in the oven. So what I've done with the tail end, you can tie it if you want, you don't need to, is literally, literally simply just place it underneath so you've got yourself a nice beautiful roast like that, this. So we're going to put it into a roasting pan. I'll move that into the center here because I've got everything else ready. So there's our roast, just like that. Uh, this recipe, it, which is online, it's very simple. You're going to take a beef or chicken stock, whichever you happen to have on hand. I had chicken stock that I had made, so I have some chicken stock. It's two cups of chicken stock, one cup of red wine. It's a quarter cup of olive oil and five tablespoons of butter melted. So if you do this all ahead of time, it's much easier because then you're literally just adding the ingredients. About three to five tablespoons of fresh thyme, which I've already done. So just put that in there. I did about half a shallot, just finely chopped. Into there. All right, three garlic cloves, nicely chopped. And about two tablespoons of flour to thicken the sauce after and some coarse sea salt. I usually do two to three tablespoons and then I did about a tablespoon of freshly ground pepper. So you're going to put all of those ingredients together into a bowl and you're going to mix them all up. Make sure the flour is really well mixed. And then we are going to pour this on top of our roast just like this. There we go. So you've got lots of juice. 
so that it's almost covered in juice. That's what you want. So it's coming up about halfway uh, in the roasting pan. Let's spill here. And then it kind of looks like that. I don't know if you can see that on camera like that. So it's about halfway up the side of the roasting pan. And we're literally going to put this in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes a pound. And this tenderloin is probably about two and a half pounds. So really about under an hour to and maybe an hour 15, depending on your oven. You, again, you don't want to overdo a tenderloin roast because it is so flavorful and, and is a very lean cut of meat. As you can see from the steaks that I cut, there's a little bit of marbling with the fat. And fat is your forgiveness when you're cooking. But again, it's a pretty lean cut of meat and you don't want to overdo this one because it's so delicious, just really all on its own. So, uh, happy cooking and enjoy uh, your roast later on. Have a great evening.